it while we can. Run! Mary says, I was born in Cuenca. I moved to the States when I was 10 years old. And now I have a family and I want to move back to Cuenca. Yeah, come on down. We all love it. That's good. I've been following your videos a long time and love how you show everyone how Cuenca really is. Yeah, thanks for the encouragement. I've been hearing many comment that uh, Cuenca is getting very expensive. That's true. Our plan is to move to Cuenca in less than two months. What advice do you have? Or what would you do knowing what you know now? I think you're asking this question because you know that I usually don't have my rose-colored glasses on. And that's the first thing I would do, is not have my rose-colored glasses on. Well, there's a couple things. The first question is, what advice do I have? What, do advice, what advice do I have for you? And the second part of that is, what would I do knowing what I know now? So you have two separate families. I don't know y'all personally. I don't know where you're at in life. Uh, I don't know where... I don't have any details. It's difficult and not impossible to give you a, a custom answer designed just for you. If you would like that, we have added a, a consulting button on the website. You know, I mean, you could spend thousands of dollars coming down here with your family, or you could run around and do things a certain way, and it cost you hundreds of dollars more than it really should. I encourage you to use the consulting button. What would I do differently? Hmm. I think that everything we've done, we did it well. Even though we didn't speak Spanish when we first got here, we had an idea of what we should pay in rent because that's what the local rate was and we sought that out. Uh, we, we doggedly sought that out and we achieved it. Of course, back then there, was, there weren't as many foreigners and we were able to go to a neighborhood where there weren't any foreigners. And so we were able to do that. It's harder to do that now. Even the local rates have gone up, as you know. It's possible to ferret them out, but it does take effort. What would I do different? kind of tough because I feel like I gave 110% effort to everything we did. So I don't I don't know that I would do anything different than I already had. But that's for back then. If I was coming now, I would definitely definitely learn my Spanish first. So I was able to get the the local rent, but it took me still about 6 months to a year to get kind of where I was comfortable with the language and be able to do other things. But at first I still couldn't really do much. I still bargained even though I couldn't speak the language. So, you know, it just depends on who you are. I mean, I, I, uh, I'm not an introvert. The thing I would recommend is have some degree of fluency in Spanish or at least be comfortable with your lack of Spanish and communicating with people who don't speak English. If you are not comfortable, communicate what it is you need uh, in that situation going to have some problems so I would say you know get get comfortable with that if you, if you don't know a lot of Spanish of course best to, to learn a lot of Spanish but <laughs> if you're someone like me who doesn't have a tremendously outgoing personality then you want to be prepared for the the shock that you're going to be in when you first get here you've got all sorts of things coming at you from the, from the moment you get here you've got the altitude the, the people the language the culture uh, it, it all hits you all at once and it's just overwhelming. I'm comfortable in situations that I haven't been in before. I'm, I'm comfortable in uncomfortable situations. <laughs> but not everybody's like that, so... If you've got that super outgoing personality, you can overcome that pretty quickly. But if you don't, I'd, uh, I'd think twice about coming down here alone. If you can convince someone to take a vacation to come down here for a couple of weeks to spend some time with you, hey, that would be fantastic. I was able to throw myself deep into it and, and do it. And uh, just because of my life experiences, because of so many different things I've experienced in my life, I've developed that kind of personality. The thing is that Cuenca, Ecuador, has a certain amount of comforts that we're used to. We could go out of Cuenca, we could go to a smaller town, 
we have to move out of here, we could we could keep the same rent, go to a smaller town, but but we would be giving up certain conveniences and comforts, and that's a difficult decision to make. Think about the consulting and we'll see if we can help you that way. Thanks for writing in. Have a nice day.